Today's grocery market share release covers the 12 weeks to the 14th of May 2023. Sales growth over the 12 weeks is 10% and a slightly faster 10.8% in the latest four weeks. Volumes are still down year on year, so it's rising prices that are keeping the market in positive territory. And on that inflation front, there is a glimmer of hope. For the second month in a row, inflation has fallen and is now standing at 17.2%, which, to put in context, is still the third largest number in our data set. If a shopper absorbs all that inflation, it would add more than £800 to the annual shopping bill. Own label winning from brands is still part of trying to save that money story, but the gap between the two has shrunk a little bit. Look hard enough and you can pick out a few examples where prices are coming down. Four pints of milk, for example, on average cost £1.60 in the latest month, which is a fair bit cheaper than it was four weeks ago. But do be careful about the comparisons, as that is still way more than anyone paid this time last year. The week of the coronation saw sales increase by 16%, more than double the 7% average run rate in the rest of the month, and does mean that more than £200 million extra was spent during the week. Sparkling wine was the big winner, and while I don't know anyone who actually made one, Coronation Quiche ingredients all saw a sales jump too. The growth rate of discounters and Aldi and Lidl is starting to trend down just a little bit as they start lapping some substantial numbers from last year, but both are still winning big chunks of market share. Collectively, they're now taking nearly 18% of sales. Asda joined the discounters in winning share this month, the first time they have done this in nearly two years. This month also marks 12 months on the shelves for their Just Essentials range, which is noticeably getting into more Asda baskets than the equivalent value ranges in the other big supermarkets. Waitrose saw the biggest jump in Coronation Week sales, probably helped by a more royalist shopper base, but I must point out I don't have any data to support that assertion. What I can confirm though, is that over the 12 weeks, Waitrose had their strongest performance since April 2021. We've started to see the recently launched Nectar prices feed through into the levels of promotion at Sainsbury's. Price reductions on branded goods have increased, which is in contrast to the market overall, where promotions continue their long-term fall away from favour and are making up just under a quarter of sales, down from 30% just a couple of years ago. Visit our website to see current and historical market shares or contact us to receive grocery market share directly to your email inbox every four weeks. Join us next time to see if there will finally be enough evidence to call that inflation is going to carry on falling and to see if the much-awaited summer, if it arrives, can help boost supermarket sales.